an example two from the practice exam two. Um, this one says to find the surface area if we uh, revolve this thing, this function, bounded by uh, y equals zero, the x-axis that is, and x equals three. If we revolve this around the x-axis, this is find the surface area. So this is the formula we have to use for that. Remember that uh, since we're revolving around the x-axis, the vertical uh, distance from the axis to the surface would be the function itself. So that's why we get the f of x there instead of just the x. Okay, so um, we need to find f prime of x to make this work. So f prime of x is equal to, uh, let's see, that's 2x to the 1 half. So we're going to get uh, 4x, or sorry, not 4x, 1 half times 2 is 1, right? So f prime of x is equal to just x to the negative 1 half, or um, 1 over the square root of x. Okay, so if we square that, we're going to need to square, square that for this part of the formula here. So f prime of x squared is going to just be 1 over x. Okay, so putting this into the formula, since we're bounding um, at x equals 3 here, uh, just so we can see kind of a picture of what's going on here. This is a square root function. If this is x equals 3, like right here, then this is the region that we're talking about, revolving that around the x-axis. So um, the, the integral that we're going to get out of this is s is equal to 2 pi. F, uh, the integral from 0 to 3. And we'll put the function itself there, 2 square root of x. And then we have the square root of 1 plus 1 over x dx. Okay? So uh, the way to do this particular integral, we're going to have to, uh, we have the square root of something times the square root of something else, so we can just combine them under a single radical. So we'll do that. So we'll get, um, I guess I can combine those twos in a minute here. Um, so if I put that x under the radical, I'm going to get this, x times 1 plus 1 over x. Okay, and then let's, if we combine the two constants, we'll get 4 pi integral from 0 to 3 of uh, the square root of, that's just, if when I distribute that x there, I'm just going to get x plus 1. Okay, um, so we can do a substitution on that. We can say that u is equal to x plus 1. So du is dx. And so the integral then becomes um, 4 pi um, integral from, now since I changed that, that's going to become 1, this is going to become 4, so we'll get the square root of u, that's u to the 1 half power du, so that's going to give us 4 pi times uh, antiderivative there, 2 thirds u to the 3 halves, evaluating this between 1 and 4, we will get from that 4 pi uh, if I plug in 4 there, the square root of 4 is 2 to the third power is 8, so I'm going to get 16 thirds there, 16 thirds. And when I plug in 1, I'll just get 2 thirds, so minus 2 thirds. 16 thirds minus 2 thirds, that's 14 over 3. 14 times 4, uh, 56, so we get 56 pi over 3. Same answer that we got on the practice exam.